Indonesia is the fourth most populous country on earth with over 250 million people. Consisting of over 17,000 islands, it is the biggest archipelago in the world. Because of the vast size both in area and population, distributing electricity to the entire country is a huge challenge for Indonesia. Right now, only big cities have got adequate access to power and in rural areas, the electricity ratio relative to its population is very low. In addition to the problem of distribution, Indonesia relies mainly on fossil fuels as an energy resource. Now let's imagine if we keep exploiting these resources on and on and on. The reserve will deplete rapidly and will finally run out. Crude oil, natural gas, and coal are the three predominant fossil energy resources that are used in Indonesia. But Indonesia has imported petroleum since 2009 and is expected to become the biggest importer in the world by 2019. Because domestic gas reserves are also running out fast, we will have to look for new reserves which will result in the end user suffering from constantly increasing prices. Good quality coal is scarce and the cost of distribution is high, so effectively it can only be utilized around mining areas. If we continue this trend, Indonesia will surely face a massive energy crisis by the end of the decade. There's only one way to prevent this. We need to switch to abundant renewable energy resources, sources of energy that we can harness locally, such as hydro, geothermal, wind, solar, and biomass. However, these are not always possible to be developed in all regions of Indonesia. For example, hydro and geothermal are both great options, but because the resources are limited to location, they can only be effectively distributed close to the source. Next, wind power. It cannot easily or efficiently be generated because Indonesia has unstable and weak wind patterns due to the proximity to the equator. Then, there's solar energy that converts the sun's energy into electricity. This requires large amounts of space. It competes with agricultural lands, which are increasingly limited. Moreover, many locations in Indonesia are frequently cloudy and result in very low energy productivity. Geographically, the most suitable and effective energy resource for Indonesia is biomass and one of the most abundant biomass resources able to be utilized in Indonesia is bamboo. Bamboo is a local plant that regenerates quickly and easily. It is also very environmentally friendly. In Indonesia, bamboo is one of the most common plants that is found in remote villages. Both the economical and social benefits of bamboo are very well known among rural communities. You can make clothing, handicrafts, industrial goods, and building materials out of it. This has made production of bamboo crafts one of the main sources of livelihood in Indonesia's rural areas. Compared to diesel, the use of bamboo waste is much more economical in areas that lie far away from large power plants. With diesel, electricity production costs go up to about 4,000 rupiah per kilowatt per hour, while electricity costs with bamboo can be reduced to around 2,000 rupiah per kilowatt per hour. This will lower costs significantly, which can result in a much healthier budget for both the national and local governments. Local communities can play a role in the production and supply of bamboo biomass or bamboo waste and give the byproducts to clean power Indonesia which converts it to electricity. The electricity is then sold to PLN, the Indonesian state-owned utility company. The electricity will then be distributed back to the community. This collaboration would create a sustainable energy supply in locations around power plants. This system can then be replicated around Indonesia because it is the fastest and cheapest way of providing electricity to remote areas. In the end, electricity distribution in Indonesia will be more equal without sacrificing our state budgets. Bamboo is incredibly effective in absorbing carbon dioxide released by power plants, thus making this a carbon neutral cycle. This means bamboo also plays an important role in the mitigation of climate change. 
In addition, the byproducts from this gasification process, called biocharcoal, can also be used as fertilizer to help accelerate the bamboo's growing process. Imagine if bamboo becomes a more important player in our life. It will not only be a sustainable energy resource for Indonesians, but will also protect other living things and balance the delicate power dynamic of our ecosystems on Earth. This will create a 